Hello, I'm George Hayes, and today we are going to be covering how to draw to multiple screens or monitors with SDL 2.0. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off explaining the screen resolution and how they work. All right, SDL treats screen resolution as far as multiple monitors as one giant screen. All right, meaning that your leftmost coordinate as far as for your first screen works across until your screen resolution is combined and reaches the maximum coordinate of whatever your screen resolution is. In my case I have two 1920 by 1080p monitors so my screen resolution on my leftmost coordinate is 0, 0 then works out to 1919 that for the first monitor and starts off in 1920 for the second monitor it goes out to 3839 alright and the lowest coordinate uh, for this lowest coordinate on it is going to be 1079 alright now there's two means by which you can sit there and write to these screens. You can treat them as one screen yourself, all right, or you can create two windows, two renders, or if you have three monitors, three windows, three renders, all right, and we'll go through and show you the code as far as on that. Now, if you treat them as one render like this, let's say you just use a window and render, and you could address it from 0 to 3839 and 0 to 7, 1079. All right, and that would fill in all your screen resolution as far as on that. And that's a fairly simple thing. But that's great if you're, let's say you got a 3D field of view that you want to display and you want to, you know, have a, to have a larger field of view to actually look at, such as let's say you're playing Battlefield or, you know, or some game, 3D game, doesn't matter, or some sort of thing that you're looking at to that effect. Now, you might have another purpose where you want, let's say, a 3D field of view in one monitor and maybe a control panel or something over in another monitor and or you want swappable monitors where you can move things around displays and stuff like that then that's not so good now what you can do then is you use basically use multiple windows multiple renders as far as for creating that and then you just simply write to them as based on their court using their coordinates positions and I'll show you what I'm talking about alright so this program right here right now is one that's already up as far as um, my tutorials online and you can download it and it's simply displaying a 3D terrain displayed in 2D and it's continuously changing it as you can see fairly simple program now if you look in the program what you're going to see is this window won't be like this and these renders won't be like this and you have to go it'll be throughout the entire program you have to change all the places that are like that because they'll all be in the the way this here is currently now you can go through and change it to where it's like this sorry and if you look at here I actually created a two windows and two renders so I could actually write to both screens and actually test it out to make sure what I was telling you was actually working correctly before I went through and told you specifically so now if you look right now I'm just writing to a single screen but if I want I can change this over to 3840 make my resolution complete and then go throughout my program and anywhere that has green coordinates I could have it you know create another resolution as far as for displaying the resolution in this case this program's fairly simple it creates basically a square box of terrain and then it just maps it to the whole screen stretches it to screen size and so that's kind of cheating and so it, I don't really have to do so much as far as on that basically all I gotta do is change it to 3840 like this and you will notice the terrain is kind of stretched out and we'll see here and it's actually displaying on both screens but I can't show you that because unfortunately recording software for doing this is only capable of recording one screen at a time which I'm gonna ask them to see if they're gonna make a change to it at any time It'd be nice or who knows maybe I'll have to actually write my own recording software so right now it's displaying to multiple screens alright and 
we'll run it again so you can see it displayed just to a single screen and it'll be less stretched out and as you notice there's less stretching as far as in the left right position here okay all right now right now the way I have it is actually perfect for the way I have this render going to the first window which would be window zero and renderer zero all right but if I wanted to set it up with the multiple screens in multiple windows and let's say I change this to a one which I could do and go through and go throughout the whole program you know which I'm not going to do right now because you don't, I'm sure you don't want to sit here and wait for me to do it. I can sit here and actually change this here to 1920 and it will start off on the second monitor's position which is like I told you here and it would start rendering from here going across and it would still be a 1920 by 1080 resolution so this would be 1920 instead of 3840 all right so don't make that mistake this is going to be 1920 by and a zero is just your start coordinate is top left corner position and so we're going to go ahead and compile and now run it and it's actually displaying on my screen but of course you can't see that but you can see that the box here is up as far as on it all right the display all right so And bring it back to here and it simply renders it back to the primary screen all right anyway I hope you find that information useful and you can use this as far as uh, with the SDL and OpenGL tutorial that I've given also put up and modify it so that you can use OpenGL across the windows uh, or I might be putting a tutorial out on that soon as well and I hope you find any way, all this information useful and are, will like and subscribe to the two videos and so forth. All right. Thank you very much. Have a great day.